So this problem has another triangle. And like I have on the notes here, any triangle, in any triangle, all three angles will always add up to 360 degrees. And we can write an equation that says what I just said. And what, what did I say? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's 180. I don't know what I just said. I think I said 360 by mistake. 180 is right. That's what I wrote, but I didn't say it. Yes, 180. So let me write what I said correctly a second ago. I'm going to write that these three, and I'm going to use different colors. I'm going to use, I'm going to call this the red angle, the blue angle, and the green angle. Those three are going to add up, and it doesn't matter which one we write first. Um, so for the green, it'll be 36 degrees. Um, for the blue, it's 9T. T, with a little tail on the bottom of it, on the curve on the bottom. And 3T, with a little curve. Can you tell the difference between the T's and the plus symbols? Is that okay? Okay, just so that they don't get confused. I wish they would use different letters, but, you know, they don't. Sometimes they use X, but they don't always. Now we're going to combine the parts that are alike. These two terms, the terms that are alike, these two terms are alike because they both have the letter T. Okay, the 36 degree doesn't have a T in it, so we don't want to include that just yet. But when we add 9T plus 3T, we get 12T. So I'm just going to write that down. 36, de 36 degrees plus 12T is equal to 180 degrees. And so we, I'm going to change colors here. We want this T here. Okay. That's what we want to find. So we want to get that part of the problem by itself, which means we want to get rid of the 36 degrees, which means we want to subtract the 36 degrees on both sides of the equation. And then let me make more room. Now, if we subtract um, 36, those add up to zero, and we're left with our 12t on this side. And uh, 180 minus 36, I think, is 144 degrees. 144, and we subtract those. And now we just need to do the opposite of what they did, the inverse of what they did. They multiplied by 12, 12 times t, means t times 12. They multiplied t times 12. We want to divide not just the t, but both sides by 12. When we do that, you know, when we cross off the 12s, remember, we're not, it doesn't really go away. It's really 1. We just don't write the 1. 12 divided by 12 is 1. So technically it's 1t, but we, but we are not going to write the 1. We're just going to say t. Yes, T equals 12 degrees, 12 degrees. They already put the degree symbol in the box there, by the way. Uh, you'll see when, like right over here. So we're just going to write the 12 in there. But don't put it in yet because we want to check our answer to see if it's right. Okay. So whenever we see the letter T, we want to be able to replace, I'm sorry. Yeah, whenever we see the letter T, we want to be able to replace it with 12, 12 degrees. So I'm going to zoom in here. This blue angle I know it says 9 times t, but we just said that uh, t is 12. So this will be 9 times 12, which is 108, 12 degrees, which is 108 degrees. Okay. Also, over here, um, again, t we already said was 12. So this will be 3 times 12 degrees, 3 times 12 degrees is 36 degrees, 36 degrees. So we want to see, we want to check before we, so we don't lose any points. If we add up the blue and the red and the green, if we add up 108 degrees plus the red, doesn't matter what order we do these in, plus the 36 degrees, plus the green, no, yeah, the green is also 36 degrees. 
something doesn't yeah okay I was gonna say it didn't look right but it kind of does so why don't you please let's add those up uh, if we add them up 6 and 6 is 12 and if you add 8 to that you get 20 so let me put my Z let me put my 0 here and add the 2 carry the 2 2 and 3 is 5 plus 3 is 8 and then 1 and they do add up to 180 so that means I think our answer is going to be correct here uh, we already put the answer I just wanted to check it so let's say that that looks right T equals 12 degrees